Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a fish hook out of a soda can top. Okay, look, you got a soda can top, and as you see, I cut it in in the middle to where it took out these, this, so you don't have it no more. And what you're going to want to do, if you're doing it, if you can't, if you don't have pliers, then you could do it with scissors. It's difficult, so... And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to twist. You're going to want to squeeze the scissors a little in some parts and twist. So until you can close this part because it was sticking out. And now you want it to where it closes. And then this top part is going to be difficult because you don't want it to break. See, so it's going to end up like this. And then what you want to do is you want to at least get it to where it, where you can squeeze this top. The only reason I could uh, do it with scissors is because really in California, you got to learn how to jig stuff if you want if you want it to be right. So what you're going to want to do is like try to get this piece to a point with your scissors. As you seen, as you seen how to make a fish hook out of a bone or out of a stick, or out of a bone. This is how to make one out of a soda can top. But this, the bottom part, you think because it's flat, it's that's gonna come out, so it's gonna make it easier for the fish to slide its mouth through, but not get back off. And if, uh, dang, if this top part breaks, what you're going to want to do is go get a drill. Because then we're going to make it a drill top. So, the show today is brought to you by the letter E. Or G. Whatever one. And ah, oh, this middle part. Well, you got as you see, I got right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other tools so I could try to, if I could find them to try to get this out. So. But this is kind of impossible. I don't have, all I have is another pair of scissors. But these scissors are probably a little bit more better. So what you're gonna wanna do with these scissors is try to twist that piece out. And as you see, I got it. All you're gonna wanna do is take that piece and fold it. Be careful with the scissors because you don't want to take off a piece of your finger. Okay, hold on.
okay you got it if you get it like this to where it's kind of like a slit then you got it right so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do it uh, to the other side of your hook see as you see you got the you got these side of the hook. Be careful because you don't want that piece to break. But this still, this piece you can get sharp after. But this piece will should be sharp because it should be like a flathead screwdriver. Then you want to take this piece and do the same like you did with this side. So when the fish's mouth goes over it, it slides on but won't come out. You want to make it like a crease where the fish's lip will go or a gill or whatever you hook will go on it but it won't come off. And as you see, we got it on there. I'm trying to make sure. You guys see we got it and that's how you make a fish hook out of a soda can top so subscribe to my channel and be looking forward to more how-to videos so today we've learned how to make a fish trap with a can or a bottle you could do the same with either one. And we've learned how to make a fish hook. That I just need. So it's kind of stuck to my knee. Um, thank you for watching. And okay. Have a nice day. As you see, I'm showing you guys the fish bottle trap in my book. And it shows you how to cut the bottle. It shows you the bottle cut in half with the fish is swimming in. And here's the description of it where it says the bottle trap. The bottle trap is a quick form of a basket trap. Although the size of aperture is most, it, aperture of most plastic bottles means that they will, are only suitable for catching small fish. And as you see, there's a small fish. Look like little minnows. But hey, minnows are even a snack, or even a good lunch if you can get a bunch of them in there. And you got yourself quite a meal. Then here it shows you how to make the sharp harpoon and the net to catch fish as they swim through the stream. And then the gutting and filleting fish.